BLS stands for basic life support. And as a nurse, the BLS CPR guidelines are definitely something you'll need to become very familiar with. So let's do an overview of the adult AHA guidelines. Step one is always scan the scene for safety to ensure it's safe for you to enter. Step two is assess the patient for a response by yelling, hey, hey, are you okay? While repeatedly tapping the patient. Step three is call for help. If they aren't responsive and you're not in a hospital setting, you would activate the emergency response system by calling 911 or ask someone to and delegate someone to get the AED. Step four is assess for breathing and a pulse. You'll want to check for a carotid pulse, which is located on the side of the neck and check for chest rise or gasping at the same time. And make sure you're assessing for no longer than 10 seconds. If no pulse and abnormal breathing is assessed, you'll want to immediately start CPR with a cycle of 30 chest compressions to two breaths. For compressions, you'll want to maintain a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Make sure the compression depth is two to 2.4 inches. Allow for full chest recoil after each compression and pause to check for a pulse every two minutes or five cycles. Use the AD as soon as it arrives by turning it on, placing the pads on the patient, and following the prompts. If a shock is advised, the AED will deliver it and make sure when it says clear, no part of you is touching the patient. If it advises, resume CPR immediately and wait for the AED to advise for another rhythm check, which is every two minutes. Follow this cycle until help arrives or the patient becomes responsive. I hope you found this overview helpful and check out the full study sheet and the nursing school success bundle.